Here comes the street champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikola! The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. When it comes to the street champion, Solo always puts that title on the line. The mouthpiece of Imperium. Ladies and gentlemen, die Mathe ist heilig. What you're about to witness is dignified deformation executed by unprecedented precision. A diabolical athlete who was stopped at nothing to uphold the integrity and honor of this great sport. Quite an introduction from Kaiser, introducing Gunther and expounding their mission statement. Two of the founding members of Imperium, they've been at each other's side since the faction's debut. Gunther, the longest reigning NXT UK champion in history, held the Intercontinental Championship as well. Multiple NXT tag title reigns for Kaiser. And this is just the beginning for Imperium. true throwback guys he reminds me of the great old school champions who revolutionized this show in the last century if by that you mean he'll beat the crap out of you and not bat an eyelash then sure gunther is a double tough and absolutely ruthless competitor in the ring if you don't respect him you will fear him and either works for him yep that about sums it up goes into the pen i didn't think this match was close to over turnbuckle capitalizing on Sokoa's mistake finds the advantage after a string of moves. and what a maneuver we just saw there you have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move Nasty, nasty 
move. Oh, and a sleeper suplex. Oof. And that attack has the street champ looking a little less tough. Gunther beat the respect into him on that one. Oh, a strong impact. Ooh. Oh, a kick. Nasty kick. Gunther quick to the counter. A counter answered by another counter. Rocked with the point of the elbow. Cover, cover. Gets the shoulder up. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Caving in the abdomen. Here's the arm ringer. Followed by the leg drop. Into the corner. This can't be good. Knife edge chop. Oof. Solo Sokoa casting an intimidating look out at the fans. And the hip attack finds the mark. the street champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikoa! The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. He needs to transform into a one-man battalion in order to take on the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. I'm not sure that's going to be enough to overcome Sheamus. Three men. 
opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Rich Holland, Sheamus, Butch, three men bonded by their love for fighting. Now you can say that again, Cole. These three will fight anyone in the locker room, anyone in the street. Heck, they'll fight each other if they have to. Hey, no matter who fights who, there's one guarantee. It'll be fun to watch. The brawling groups are about to show us all how they earned that name. Ladies and gentlemen, fight night is officially underway. Heading into this one, Sheamus said the disregard for his accomplishments is a disgrace, and it's time he's recognized for his greatness. That doesn't sound like a difficult thing to ask, Cole. Sheamus just wants his due respect. Appreciate this man's dominance and accomplishments. No one's dismissing Sheamus. He has a Hall of Fame career, and he's fully capable of allowing his actions to speak for him tonight. And then you have a superstar like Solo Sokoa, who thrives on being a menace to the competition. No remorse, no regrets, just punishment on Sokoa's end. Now that attitude is a gene pre-baked into Solo's DNA. The street champ knows how to send a message, like it or not, and it is always a dangerous one. Sokoa holding him at bay. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Incoming. The headbutt to the gut. Sheamus looking a little shaken here. And there was some force on that move. Great flurry of offense from Solo. Unrelenting attacks from Solo. Corey, we know how intimidating and devastating Solo Sokoa is when he gets going. What do you think is the key to overcoming a competitor like him? If there's one thing about Sokoa that could be his downfall, Cole, it's the fact that he can be a bit of a hot hit. Which is why if you're going to go up against him, you have to be the one to stay clear-headed. As much as he drives through his opponents like a big rig truck, you can... Oh, no, he could be caught here. Bad spot for him. And he's just going to the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. Scoop slam. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Oh, my. oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. And Sheamus on the receiving end of the beating there. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Close there, it could be do or die time. Sheamus staggers up, struggling to regain any compose. Winding up. Oh, it's Spike. Sheamus is in crisis mode. Wow, just barely making it out. Oh man, somehow Sheamus managed to kick out. And I don't think he's going to take too kindly to how close that just was. The next big move by end is the question is who has the stamina left to pull it out? He saw it coming, taking advantage. Back and forth from these competitors. Spinning heel kick. From the apron. What? Two. Uh-oh. That didn't go as Solo pictured. Uh-oh. 
Well scattered reversal there. Sheamus denies the attack. Oh, shoulder breaker. That is gonna hurt. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going on. And he goes into the ring. He climbs back into the ring just in time. That was getting close. Face Buster plants him. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. This is a very dangerous situation now. Stiff elbow will break that up. These two showing how well scouted they each are. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Oh, and that buys some time. Jonas dodges that one. The Irish brawler's got him where he wants him. Oh, no, this is over. From the pen and the win. Yes. A kick out at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Sokoa on display there. On the mark and with no... Sokoa spinning solo. That's one for Sokoa on the floor. There's two. That's it. Solo Sokoa gets the win. Here is your winner. Solo Sokoa. A statement victory by this guy tonight. That was an unfair match from the start. The WWE Universe was constantly distracting shape. Oh my god, where's the violin? Here comes the street champion. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sikoa. The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. Time for the enforcer to make the bloodline proud. Oh, I have no doubt he will do so. Sheesh. Gentlemen, class is in session. That's right, Cole. Show a little respect for Master Gable and the number one guy, Otis. And his opponent, accompanied by Otis, representing... The Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! Two amateur wrestling standouts trained together before either man joined WWE. And tonight we get to watch their amazing wrestling skills, to which I say, a thank you! Solo Sokoa set for competition here, clearly focused as ever. 
focused and with a target acquired, Cole. Sokoa's never not in a bad mood. We can already see he came ready for a beatdown. Strangely, I think beating down his competition is the only thing that eventually puts him in a good mood. And even that's debatable. Just look into his eyes right now. There's still room to learn something new here today, though, because he's about to get taught a painful lesson by the master, Chad Gable. Former Olympian, championship pedigree, and just a fierce competitor is Chad Gable. He can wrestle circles around just about anybody you put him in the ring with. As much as I hate his attitude, there are worse guys to learn from. Well, man, I'm clearly on the side of Sokoa. Gable has to gather the energy to turn the tables. Oh, oh man, right to the esophagus. Elbow on the spot. Look, we know the name of Solo's game by now. He's going to want to slow things down and maintain the pace that benefits him. If you can pick up the pace, refuse to play into things the way Solo wants them, there is a chance to gain the advantage here. Yeah, running circles around Solo could be a good strategy. Right in the bread basket. That puts a stop to Gable. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, what a gourd buster. Can Gable withstand much more of this? Solo stifling the opposition yeah. now. Counter! And now there's an opening. Quick exchange of counters there. Oh, no! Straight oh. up! to that pin attempt. Yeah. Solo reverses and looks to capitalize. And he's able to counter. Larian. <laughs> that didn't go as Solo pictured. Oh, man! Ouch. Hooked up. to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. Oh, ruthless striking. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Down with the Samoan drop. Sokoa channeling all his negative energy into something painful there. Shot to the gut will break things up. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. And he kicks out of the pin in one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. He must have had that scouted. Boom, Solo with a timely counter. for Gable. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Oh, right in there. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Counter upon counter. Uh-oh. Capitalizing on Sakura's mistake. Belly on belly suplex. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle has been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's going to take a lot to close this one out. Turning the tables. Uh-oh. Watch out. Super into the ring post. Solo Sokoa signaling to the audience, and they are responding. Return fire from Gabe. Superstars have anything left at this point. The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this one. Into a German suplex. Will it be? And referee cuts off the count in one. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding. 
kidding me. Shifts it back onto him. Winding up. Boom! Samoan spike. So one can end this now. You are looking at the future of the bloodline. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds. Solo Sankoa! The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. Time for the Enforcer to make the Bloodline proud. Oh, I have no doubt he will do so. Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. We are about to see the siren song of Scarlet and the ominous presence of Karrion Cross. to do tonight, fall and pray. Members of Solo Sokoa's family refer to him as the Enforcer. It's a title that aptly describes his demeanor, which is equal parts stoic and violent. Solo seems almost completely emotionless at times. Even while he's in the middle of tearing apart an opponent, his grim expression never changes. He's truly merciless. Yeah, no question that when it comes to in-ring action, Solo Sokoa is all business. But on the other side of the ring is a truly twisted individual, Karrion Cross. 
He's proven to be an absolutely cutthroat superstar who has a callous disregard for the well-being of his competition. Into the pen attempt. I think this ref might be a little slow on the count. Oh, man. There's the arm ringer. Followed by the leg drop. Cross's turn to be on the receiving end of some callous offense. Intense offense, as always, from the enforcer. Carry and Cross boasts an impressive physique, but what's the best way for him to utilize that power tonight? Cross needs to mix that strength with ruthless precision by making targeted attacks. He can use all that muscle to debilitating effect and end his opponent's night quickly. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Collision in the corner. Oh no. Oh, I stop right to the gut. Oh my gosh! With one hand! Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Set right into the corner. Oh! What reflexes to stop Sokoa? Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Sharp clothesline. Oh! Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Momentum clearly on the side of Sokoa. Solo's really on top of his game right now. This is what the enforcer, Solo Sokoa, is all about. Mercilessly laying waste to his... Uh -oh. Great counter! Karrion finally creates some more offense for himself. Uh-oh. He's returning fire. See an answer for every move attempted. What a clothesline! Ouch! We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. And Cross is being taken apart here. I assure you, Kerry and Cross was not expecting to be in this position. See him take yet another shot to the body. Ripped in the hard way. What a sharp block. Solo making sure his opponent knows what his intentions are. Looking to end it here. This could be it. The ref not even getting a one. I was not expecting that from him at this point. Sokoa prevents that from connecting. And returning to the rank. Samoan drop. Sokoa got him in his sights. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Momentum clearly on the side of Sokoa. Solo stifling the opposition now. And that was an effective attack, guys. The WWE Universe will be superstar. Winding up. So a spike. So they can end this now.
Here comes the street champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. Since the moment he arrived in WWE, Shinsuke Nakamura has doggedly been pursuing success and glory for himself. Nothing wrong with that. And you know, if I can finish, often at the cost of friendships for his own reputation. We'll see if Nakamura is ready as ever to do anything to grab the win here tonight. And then you have a superstar like Solo Sokoa, who thrives on being a menace to the competition. No remorse, no regrets, just punishment on Sokoa's end. And that attitude is a gene pre-baked into Solo's DNA. The street champ knows how to send a message, like it or not, and it is always a dangerous one. When facing Shinsuke Nakamura, one thing you'll most certainly have to deal with is his continued frenzy of strikes. What's the best way to contend with that? There's only one option, Cole, and that's keep up. Shinsuke's never going to back off or give you time to strategize, so you have to come at him with just as much fury and match his intensity. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Solo Sokoa casting an intimidating look out at the fans. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. He's getting a little battered now. That didn't go as Solo pictured. Sakoa holding him at bay. Targeting the throat there. Catching an elbow to the side of the face. Oh, running knee lift. Makes him pay with a counter. Getting him into the corner. Counters. Paying it back with their own counter. Sokoa signaling to the audience, and they are responding. Capitalizing on Sokoa's mistake. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. And that 
was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Sakoa just got a bit haunted. Slam down. Nakamura style on display. Oh, oh man. Vicious right forearm. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Bad vibrations. Headbutt to the back of the neck. What a chancery. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. This is where endurance becomes so important yeah. in the late stages of the match. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top, relax yeah. handle. Uh. Not the position you want to be in right now. Outside. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. And look at Shinsuke Nakamura! Bang! What a neck breaker! Look at that insult to injury with that one. For the win! And kicks out before the refs count. I can't believe the ref didn't even get to one. Got him up! don't know what it's going to take. He turns it around. Reversal after reversal. Two shots up. Man. Celebration imminent for Nakamura. Shoulders down. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal in the match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Kinsuke Nakamura is ready, has his man measured, ready to go for the... Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Ouch. Snapmare takeover. What a knee. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. And a well executed move, we just saw that. Check out the hard hitting offense of Nakamura. I don't think anyone can stop Nakamura now. Oh, and a reversal. Winding up. Sakoa showing no fear up there. From the top, all the way to the outside. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. That didn't go as solo picture. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Oh my gosh, what impact. Solo getting out of harm's way. Solo reverses and looks to capitalize. He'll head to the ring. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? 
Tough position to be caught in here. Down across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That would reverse it. What a barrage of stops. Ooh. Can't quite get him there. Piercing the throat. He turns it around. running out into the ring now you gotta be kidding me hope you boys put your running shoes on it might be time to clear out Ooh, that knee knocking the wind out of him Outside. This could be good. Whoa. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Here's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Oh, what a kick! Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. And that was a well-executed attack. Samoan drop. The ferocity of Sokoa on display there. On the mark and with no remorse. What a match. What a match. Winding up. Boom! Samoan spike. So much brutality with that move tonight. You have to hand it to our new champion. Solo Sokoa was just hungry tonight. Here is your winner. talking about this match for a long time coming. Talking about where they were when the title changed hands. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure of having the best seats in the house, gentlemen.